Good morning everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I'm in a little bit of a rush this morning. Um, I just wanted to start the vlog now because Tommy's about to get home from a haircut. And today I've actually planned a little surprise for him. We are going on a little spa day today. Um, I've told him we've got something planned today, but I've not told him what we're doing. And it's not like a massive deal, but he loves spa days so much. We both do, it's like what, you, what we love doing together. I managed to find this one spa that is still open and running. Um, and I've booked us facials, I've booked us massages, I've booked us lunch um, and we're just gonna have a really really nice day in the spa and he's been training so 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 hard in training camp like I just really wanted to treat him and just reward him and say well done. I mean Tommy's not even back yet from getting a haircut he went at like eight o'clock this morning to get a haircut he thinks we're going to a theme park <laughs> he thinks um I think he thinks we're going to Alton Towers because I, I kept saying oh, I really want to go to Alton Towers um so I reckon he thinks, no, I know he thinks that we're going to Alton Towers. I said, what do you think it is? And he was like, oh, I wish it was a spa day, but all the spas are shut. I was like, yeah, I was like, all the spas are shut. <laughs> okay, right, I'm going to tell Tommy what we're doing today. It's not really that exciting, by the way. Go on, I'm in. Oh, I'm in. No, you need to lean, lean up. No, 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 it's come to this. <laughs> I'm interested to hear. Okay, so today we are going to Alton Towers. Joking, we're going to a spa. <laughs> I don't believe you. Don't believe you. <laughs> there we are. Massages and facials. I don't believe you. <laughs> I've been wanting a spa for ages. I told you that's what I wanted. I'm I know, and that's what I've be. sorted. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. We need to hurry up, seriously, because we're going to be late. Go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <sighs> He didn't even seem that happy, I know, but he he is happy. He just, um, he's literally been asking to go to a spa for like, literally the start of coronavirus. Right, Tom, are you ready? <laughs> oh, we missed our treatments. <laughs> Fran didn't tell me that we needed to be here at a certain time, so I think we may have um, missed our treatments, but she said that she's going to try and um, rearrange so we can still get some, but this is so nice in here. So this is a macadamia nut shot. I don't... This here's a good night. I don't really like nuts, so you can have mine, but you do yours. Shall I shot it? Yeah, go on. <laughs> Is it nice? <laughs> Are they nice? You missed out. Oh really? Is that chocolate powder? So guys, we've just had some treatments. We've had a massage and a facial and it was so, so nice, wasn't it? The Ooh. music though that was yeah. playing was funny. Can I say it? No, no. <laughs> this is our lunch. I'm having a burger, being very naughty. Um, Tommy's having a lot of sushi, because obviously he's on a diet, and this is the healthiest thing they have. So, I'm having a nice day. I'd be having a better day if I could have a Korean burger, but the diet life chose me. The diet life chose you, and the box of life chose you, and you're staying committed. Look at me. And healthy. Oh, your eyes are so beautiful. Then it's currently ten o'clock on a Sunday evening and I'm just running around the apartment doing a little bit of housework. I've just put a wash on, just doing some random bits and bobs. Tomorrow, two o'clock. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry, just ignore this. Anyway, so tomorrow at two o'clock, I am having a mole removed on my leg. Um, it's actually a mole that I put on my Instagram story um, a couple of weeks ago now. Um, <sighs> do you want to be here while I talk about my mole? <laughs> He's sick of me talking about it now. I went to another doctor about something completely different. It was about the skin on my arms. The skin on my arms looks like kind of all patchy. I went to speak to her about that. Anyway, as I was leaving the doctors, I said, oh, I've had my mole checked 
by two dermatologists and they've told me it's fine but can you just quickly give me like a third opinion on this mole because I personally don't feel like it looks quite right um so then I lifted up my jogger and she just took one look at the mole and was like yeah that needs to come off and I was like oh my god my heart started racing and she just looked quite concerned and was like yeah it needs to come off like I'm not happy with it I was by myself at the doctors and I just literally went for like a routine like check up about this arm situation that I've got like the pigmentation ended up finding out that I needed to have a mole removed and you guys probably don't know but I've got like a massive fear of needles so for me it's not like a just a casual oh, I'll be fine like just get a mole removed like it's chilled well, that's why I'm going <laughs> but anyway so I'm gonna get it removed tomorrow and he's not even allowed to come in the hospital I am. I'm gonna take the shape of a doctor and say yes, I'm here for procedure of, I think it's Molly Mayhig. I'm gonna sit there, hold the placenta and a, some scissors and that's it. <laughs> the placenta? Not yeah. having a baby? Whatever it is I need to hold, I'll be holding, holding your hand. He's not allowed in. I'll be in. We've already are. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of show you the journey this week of me going through this horrible situation that no one really wants to go through, but these things happen and I'd rather just get it off so I know it can have a biopsy and like, well not a biopsy, like they'll just test them all. See if it's cancerous or not, which obviously I'm praying to a God that it's not. Also what's quite embarrassing, what I was quite mortified about was the fact that I put it on my story being like, this mole's fine, like I've had it checked. And then like a week later, she's like, it's not fine. So I'm making you guys aware that that mole wasn't fine, okay? That mole was not fine. So if you have a mole that looks like that, ignore my judgment of saying it was fine. It's not, um, it needs to come off. So anyway, tomorrow is the day. Night guys, love ya. Good morning to my handsome husband. <laughs> Hi. Well, good morning. <laughs> <laughs> We're just out for some breakfast at the moment. I mean, I look like a boy this morning. Um, we're just gonna thrive, you know, got a hat on to cover up the state that I am. Um, also, my extensions are out, and this is the first time I've had my extensions out, and I've worn my hair like not tied up. But we're not gonna look at that because it's a hot mess. And I got beans on toast with cheese, and Tommy got a jacket potato with chicken and beans, which sounds disgusting, but <laughs> that looks, it looks nice to be fair, actually. Yeah, nice. And my driver, Dave, has just got here to take us to hospital um so yeah we're gonna leave now i don't feel awful like i have like nerves like a lot of nerves but it's fine we're just gonna be a big brave girl there's literally so many people people going through so much worse than this every day like young children that have to get things like this done all the time like i really cannot moan and complain and be a wimp um but this is what it looks like so that is what's getting removed today um, obviously it's very unattractive, doesn't look very nice at all, it looks kind of like a birthmark, I think. Um, but as you can see, this is the kind of size of it on my leg. Um, so quite big really, if you think about it, like it looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> I don't know why the camera's making it look even worse. So outfit of the day, in case anybody wanted to see, I'm wearing this white leather jacket from my latest PRT collection, my little jumper is Sisters and Seekers, which I wear all the time, grey joggers, which Tommy's ripped um, this morning, and just my white blood siagas, and then stylishly finishing off with my laptop case, because I'm gonna hopefully try and get a vlog uploaded when I go to my manager's later. Yeah. So it's been removed at the margin that we don't consider 
adequate for a malignant melanoma. Okay. Okay. Uh, and that's why we need to do some more. Um, and that would involve more surgery to take the scar out with a bigger margin. Okay. And also, I need to have a chat with you, probably not on the telephone, but next week when I see you, um, have a chat about um, doing a biopsy of one of the glands at the top of your, the top of your leg and you're, you're growing. So that's just to see if there's any evidence that the melanoma might have spread. Hi guys, so sorry I abruptly stopped recording earlier. Um, I don't even know why I started recording, to be honest. Um, it was the call with the doctor that I've been waiting for for like, like 12 days now um, since having my mole removed. And I've not even really added anything to this vlog since then. I don't think I even really showed you. I don't think I've even recorded since coming out of the hospital. Um, anyway, I had the mole removed. Um, the, it was fine like the removal was fine um this is what it looks like at the moment it's kind of like i maybe mean, it's got a fake tan on it and all that um but i just rebandaged it the other day because um the bandages kind of started to fall off um, from having showers and stuff but that is um the bandages on it there so that's like kind of the scar about that i got the call today and um he's told me it is a malignant melanoma which is skin cancer basically um, which is obviously petrifying um, and shocking, scary. Like, I don't even know what to really think or say. Um, I had a feeling, though. Like, I just had a feeling. And I cannot believe that I was told by other doctors that it was okay. I, I'm so upset and angry. Like, imagine if I had... Like, I literally just briefly asked this doctor when I was walking out the doctor's, can you just double-check this? And I was walking around with skin cancer on my leg. And if I hadn't have asked... I still have that mole on my leg now and I'd be none the wiser and it could be spreading all the way through my body like you just never know. Um, so the doctor said that it's really good that we caught it early. I'm sorry if the call wasn't very clear earlier. I could barely hear him myself. And he basically just said that I'm going to have to have further surgery, um, which is like, I just, I don't even know what to say. Like, I just can't even believe it. Like I'm, I'm like not, I've already like shed tears about it. I've already like cried on the phone to literally every single family member. Um, but I'm just trying to stay really strong because I know that my mum and my dad, like, they will just freak. If I'm freaking out, they're going to freak out and it's not worth worrying everybody. So as long as I'm okay, then they'll be okay. So I think just we've just got to, like, kind of stay strong. I'm currently in Venice on this beauty work shoot and they've been so lovely. Like, I've not really told anyone what's happened apart from, like, my close, like, glam squad and, and, and Catherine, who I'm here with for my management. But they're all just so nice. Like, they're like, oh, like if you want to stop, like, you can stop. But, like, I just carried on shooting because I just feel like there like i thought I, I was gonna stop but then i just thought there's no point me sitting in my hotel room like crying like being freaked out about it because i just need to carry on and just push on and just get on with my job but i'm just so glad that we've caught it and that i actually got it checked because oh it's just so scary to think that i could have left it i totally could have left it but yeah anyway guys i'll give you a little update soon I'm, i need to go out for dinner now everyone's waiting for me i want to take my makeup off take my extensions out and just try and have a relaxed evening so the last time i spoke to you on this vlog was in venice and that was about about 10 days ago now not really much has happened since then um apart from this morning um i've received a really strange phone call um in regards to my mole so currently my well until this morning my surgery is like a few days away um i've actually was due for a covid test this afternoon which meant from this point on i'd be isolating until my surgery in a couple of days um and now i've been rung by the surgeon and the doctor who took my mole away and he said that basically he doesn't want to do the surgery anymore because somebody has said that they don't think it is malignant which is obviously brilliant news um but also not so great news because now i'm like is it malignant isn't it malignant like i have no idea what's going on so i've like been psyching myself up for the surgery oh, like for like the last two weeks now and now it's like oh it's not going ahead so i'm really really confused and the worst part about it is is they're sending my mole off <laughs> on a plane to america um and I'm not going to get my results back for three weeks, which is really, really aggravating. And I'm definitely going to put this vlog out before those three weeks because, like, 
you guys are asking me so many questions and I feel like I might as well just share with you what I'm going through whilst I'm going through it and then when I find out my results in three weeks if I do have to have my surgery if I don't have to have my surgery I will let you guys know either way I've cancelled all my work for the next two weeks because I was told that I would like not really be able to walk my leg um so i don't really know what's going on it's really weird but it was just such a random call like it was a no caller id and i wasn't even gonna answer it then i answered it and it was the surgeon he was like yeah we're cancelling your surgery and i was like oh don't mind my hairy legs um but i took my why is this not focusing i took my bandages off um two days ago now just to see how it was looking and this is how it is looking so i'm actually really really happy with it like i know it still looks a bit gross but it's literally just like a small scar um and it i mean it was about to become um this again and then this again on this side so it was going to be about that long um and then i was going to have to have another one here in order to stretch the skin around unless unless i wanted a skin graft i don't know it was all a bit confusing my emotions are kind of all over the place um because i can't really relax now for three weeks so it's kind of like i was kind of looking forward to just getting it all out of the way and the other thing is as well like if one person has said that there is any chance that it's malignant like i'd hate for these results then to come back like half and half and then be like oh we'll just leave it because then i'm just going to be worried that it is malignant and that it's not being removed like head's just all over the place and now i've got to go for a two hour driving lesson don't even get me started um yeah i'm going for a two hour driving lesson and like my head's just like flying so that's great okay guys i will keep you updated um what's happening with what's happening and stuff guys i am fully aware that by now on this vlog you are sick of the sound of my voice and i can only but apologize for that um but it is two weeks on since i last spoke to you i'm going to put this vlog out tonight um because so many of you are just asking me questions and i feel like i'm really not being myself at the moment on my instagram for loads of different reasons like tommy's fight's coming up we've just gone into lockdown today first day of lockdown i'm literally looking horrible I haven't heard anything from the um from the mole specialist people in america i mean yeah and they've obviously not come back to my surgeon um but i'm feeling like really chilled about it i'm just like what will be will be and obviously it can't be that much of a worry right now if they're happy to send my mole off on a plane to america for three weeks for it to be studied but yeah guys the main message of this vlog that you need to understand and that you need to take away from this vlog is to get your moles checked like i cannot stress this enough get your moles checked use your initiative like be smart go and get your moles checked because if i hadn't like i could have been in serious trouble i promise that i will keep you updated with this story with this journey like obviously as soon as i find out what's going on i will let you know i was like holding out to find out to put this vlog out but it's just how i'm just gonna say out in one sentence but it's just taking too long and quite frankly i would wanted to share this with you guys before all i've literally done in this vlog is just talk and sit still so i know it's probably not been the most interesting but it's been factual and i hope this has taught you that nobody is safe and don't ever think it will be someone else's story because I feel like that's what I did like you know when you just see things like on Instagram or on the news or anything where like you think oh, that's just someone else's story like that could never happen to me like guess what it happened to me thank you so much for watching this video I really really hope you enjoyed it again sorry it wasn't that happy um but I just want to like be real with you guys and keep you all up to date but yeah I love you all and hopefully I'll see you all in my next video bye guys